this loaded? All right, so uh, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to uh, Jeremy's Corner, the vlog. And uh, basically, uh, I'm here to tell you about uh, something we were talking about the other day. And it kind of started because we were talking about cats. So uh, Schrodinger's cat came up. And uh, if you're familiar with the theory, uh, basically uh, Schrodinger's cat's about, um, basically if you have like a closed room and there's a cat in it, and then you put a poison gas in the room, but you can't see into the room, at the same time, the cat is either alive or dead. And so it's kind of like one of those weird things where it's like once you check, you'll know, and then like that will be the outcome. So it's like either the cat died from the poison gas or the cat didn't die. But until you, until you check, the cat is both simultaneously alive and dead at the same time. So the subject of locks came up because we were talking about like, you know, dangerous things because, you know, locks are dangerous, right? They, by themselves, they are extremely dangerous. So handle with care. I mean, I'm, I'm a little afraid right now, but you know, I'm braving it out for you guys. So uh, yeah, basically, uh, you know, chamber is empty and I've got it locked back. But we were talking about how um, locks, uh, because it's a striker fire system, they have a sort of a unique thing where, well, not completely unique, but the trigger resets when the slide moves forward, and when you pull the trigger to dry fire the gun, there's nothing in the chamber, so you pull the trigger, uh, it releases the, the firing pin, but the trigger actually stays to the rear, whereas some guns actually release forward again, but um, these actually require the slide to cycle in order for you to have the trigger ready to go. So if you do have a bullet in the chamber with the trigger to the rear, is the gun still dangerous? Because in this in this moment, basically you can't pull the trigger. The trigger does nothing in the re in the recessed position, but there's a live round in the chamber. So does it still make it dangerous? Like if I were to point it at something that I didn't want to destroy, would that would that make a difference, right? So there is there is a way to put a round in the chamber because you know obviously you're gonna say oh well you have to set the striker in position in order to put a round in the chamber. That's actually not true. You do a quick disassembly and reassemble the pistol with a round in the chamber. So actually I have a snap cap here today, fake bullet, and uh, basically I'm going to put it inside the gun. Drop that in. Okay, so now the snap cap is in the chamber, and if I slide the uh, slide onto the frame and just click it in place, it doesn't bring it back far enough that it'll reset the trigger. So now I have, quote unquote, a live round in the chamber, but the trigger is recessed. So is this still dangerous? I present to you the theory of Schrodinger's GAT, because in this state, you don't know. Like if I put this down and somebody else were to walk up and pick up the gun, you know, and they maybe they weren't uh, completely uh, aware of uh, the you know firearm safety, right? And they were to point it around and stuff, and you know, do the cowboy thing, pew 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 pew, right? Well, it's like it's like one of those things where it's like it's dangerous, but it's safe at the exact same time. You can't check it because once you press check the uh, gun to see if there's a, a live round in the chamber, it sets the trigger forward, and then now you can fire the gun. Whereas if you don't, or basically, I mean, you could try to disassemble the gun, right, to check, but then once you've disassembled it, it's no longer fireable, which makes it safe, right? You know, if the gun is, basically, when it comes to this point, then, you know, in order to take it out and open it and look into the chamber, it's no longer fireable. You can't fire the gun in this configuration. So that is the, that's the question I ask you. You know, is it safe or is it dangerous? Anyway, um, you know, post your thoughts below in the comments. Uh, you know, if you if you have, uh, you know, something to say about it, because this is just kind of an interesting thing that I never really thought about before today is like, you know, is it is it safe to be pointing this around? It, I mean, you still shouldn't point firearms, even if they're unloaded at Things you do not want to destroy or people, right? So I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, is this gun still dangerous with the trigger recessed to the rear and around in the chamber? Anyway, 
Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, just uh, like and subscribe. We also have a Facebook page, so you can definitely check that out. And kind of try to post fun, your interesting things on there. And um, yeah, stay tuned for some more vlogs in the future. I guess we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.